Cavs hosting the Heat, and the Cavs are five or five and a half point favorites. The over under I have at 210 and a half points. I have Miami at plus 175 on the money line and Cleveland at minus 210. The Heat lost the last game that they played. The Cavs won the last game that they played. Now, before you bet any money on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are actually playing in this game for either team. And use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all of the casino's pricings in one place, so you get the most advantageous line for you, depending upon which side of this game you want to bet. Now, head-to-head, the home team's on a three-game winning streak. The Heat are 6-4 and four against the Cavs in their last 10. The home team is 8-2 in their last 10. The favorite has won the last three games. The favorite is 8-2 against the spread and 8-2 on the money line. So when the favorite wins, they cover. The over is 7-3 in their last 10, and the over 210 is 7-3 in their last 10. The last game that they played, the Cavs won 113-87 as 7-point home favorites. The game before that, the Heat won 117-105. As eight and a half point home favorites. The game before that, the Cavs won 105 94 as five and a half point favorites. The game before that, the Cavs won 111 85 in Miami as three point underdogs. One of the rare games that the underdogs won. Now, in their last handful of games, the Heat have not covered their last two, and they've only covered four of their last 10 games. We've had a combined 239, 215. 193 and 196 points in their last four games. For the Cavs, they have covered six out of their last 10. They covered the last game that they played. We had a combined 221, 212, 208, and 208 points. So neither one of these teams have been exploding offensively. The under has hit in four out of the Cavs' last five games, and the under has hit in four out of the last five Heat games. So Take that for what you will. I'm going to take Cleveland with the money line. I'm going to take Cleveland laying the points. I'm going to go over solely because I think the over-under is a little low. But if you're feeling brave, go under because that's what the patterns for both of these two teams are. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.